Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. Now in this video, we will see how to perform data augmentation in order to increase the data set. Suppose we have very few images of cat and dog and now we want to classify uh, those cat and dog images with the help of convolutional neural network now in order to have better results in a deep neural network we require large amount of data with uh, uh, different variations which helps us our neural network to learn complicated images and uh, we will get more accurate result from it but if suppose we have very few images of cat and dog then uh, we have to work on this we can flip the image we can rotate the image we can uh, rescale the image we can shift the image towards left right top bottom and this modified images will help us to generate more and more training data set which helps us to learn the newer things so let's see how we can uh, increase the data set with different augmentations over the images in order to learn various variations of the images in deep neural network so first thing then uh, we are going to attach our google drive with uh, the collab notebook and uh, in google drive we have created one folder cat versus dog inside that we have created two more folder first is for training and second is for testing in training again there are two folders corresponding to different classes so first folder is cat second folder is dog so two folders are there for uh, the corresponding images likewise in testing also we have two different folder first is dogs and second is cat dogs folder includes images related with the dogs and cats folder include images with the cats now we have to use this hierarchical structure only we have to use cat versus dog inside that two folder one for training second for testing and inside training we have to create number of folders equal to number of classes in this case we have only two classes for dog and cat so we have created two folders corresponding to cat and dog respectively we are we have successfully attached our drive to uh, the google collab now we want to navigate to that particular folder so we have to use import os os.chdir to change the directory of current working directory to the folder where we have specified cat and dog image data set if we are using exclamatory mark dir we are getting training and testing correct now we want to perform pre-processing on the image okay so we are going to use image data generator class available under tensorflow.keras.processing.image module so this image data generator class helps us to perform various pre-processing on the image to have uh, different variations inside the image most beautiful thing available with uh, image data generator is the modified image will not be stored on your drive but it will be generated on the fly and uh, those images will be used for training and testing none of the image will be stored on your drive or on your disk we are going to use image data generator class inside that we have to specify what kind of uh, variations or augmentations we want to use over the image so first and most important rescaling so we are going to bring all the pixel values in the range between 0 to 1 so we have specified rescale factor as 1 divided by 255 we can also rotate those images so we have specified range is equal to 40 we can also specify width shift height shift with specific range we have specified 0.2 as a range we can also zoom the image we can specify horizontal flip over there 
and successfully we have created training augmentation many more augmentations we can apply over the image so you can refer the documentation provided at keras.io now we have created the object training augmentation now we have created training augmentation object we can use flow from directory function to get the training images on the flag so first parameter is directory we have to specify from where we are going to take the training images so make sure that you have specified path till training only do not attach cat or dog after that what should be the input size we want to use for our model that is specified under target size here we want to use 128 by 128 image batch size is third parameter we can pass that to a flow from directory function class mode is equal to binary since we have only cat as one class and dog as another class binary class classification problem is there so we have used class mode is equal to binary so these two cells are responsible for generating the augmented images for the training same we can apply for the validation we have to again use image data generator class and here we are just rescaling the images used for the validation we are again using flow from directory function where we have to specify directory is equal to testing target size is equal to 128 comma 128 batch size is equal to 128 and again class mode is equal to binary same as that of our training augmentation so we can see that for uh, training we have almost 8000 images belonging to two classes these two classes are taken from the folders present inside the training folder that is cats and dogs and for validation we have almost 2000 images again belonging from the two classes now it's time to define our model so we have defined our model is sequential with input layer shape is equal to 128 comma 128 comma 3 after that we have created series of con 2d layer max 2d layer and at the last we have used flatten layer to convert the matrix into the vector now that vector need to be connected to the dense layer so we have created a two dense layer first layer includes 512 neurons with activation function ReLU. and in last layer we need only one neuron which will have activation function as sigmoid since we are dealing with binary class classification problem after that we have printed our model summary okay so we are getting layers output shape and number of parameters that we have let's compile that model with the help of model.compile optimizer we have used rms prop loss is equal to binary cross entropy and matrix is equal to accuracy now to train the model we have to use model.fit method and uh, instead of passing separate x and y now here we have to pass train generator train generator generally provides infinite amount of data so here we have to specify how much data we want to take for each epoch so steps per epoch is equal to 8 means 8 time training generator will be taken into account so 8 time into 128 batch size so that many images will be taken for uh, deciding the weight updation likewise we want to use five epochs and uh, for validation data we have to pass validation generator it will take some time because on the fly augmentation will be done on the image and then it will be used for training so compared to the plain training here it will take some amount of time for performing augmentation and providing that image for training as well as validation so it is quite slower as we can see after fifth epoch we are getting accuracy approximately up to 55 percent validation accuracy is 61 percent then we have plotted accuracy and validation graph so this is how we can use augmentation in order to increase the data size on the fly thank you for watching the video